In this video, let me explain the construction and working of an alternator. Alternator or synchronous generator is an electrical machine, which converts the mechanical power into an AC electrical power. This generator produces an output which is alternating in nature and so called as alternator. It also rotates at a constant speed, which is a synchronous speed and hence called as synchronous generator. The power required for industrial and domestic appliances are met by the power generated by these alternators from different energy like thermal, hydro, nuclear, etc. Alternators are the major source of electrical energy. If there is no giant alternators today, then the world would still be in the dark. There are also DC generators and motors, where commutator and brush arrangements are used to deliver the DC output. In such DC machines, the field is stationary and the armature is rotating but in case of alternators, the armature becomes stationary as the stator and the field is rotating. Stationary armature has the following advantages. It is easier to insulate the stationary armature winding for high AC voltages. The output current from the armature can be easily taken to the load circuit from the fixed terminals. Field circuit requires low voltage and low power DC and hence rotating field winding be easily insulated. The armature winding can be more easily braced, so as to prevent deformation caused by the mechanical force due to high centrifugal force. An alternator is constructed with two main parts, stator and rotor. The stator consists of stator frame and stator core. The stator frame is used for holding the armature stampings and windings in position. Ventilation is maintained with the help of holes cast in the frame itself, which assist in cooling the machine. The armature core is supported by the stator frame and is built up of laminations of steel alloys or magnetic iron. The core is laminated to minimize the eddy current loss. The laminations are insulated from each other and have spaces in between them for allowing the cooling air to pass through. The stator is made up of number of slots on its inner periphery, which is used for holding the armature winding. Rotor consists of two types, smooth cylindrical type and salient pole type. Smooth cylindrical type rotor consists of a smooth solid steel cylinder, having a number of slots along its outer periphery for hosting the field coils. It has a uniform length in all directions, giving a cylindrical shape to the rotor thus providing uniform flux cutting in all directions. It has very long axial length but small diameters. The cylindrical construction of the rotor gives better balance, quieter operation and less windage loss. The cylindrical rotor is generally used for very high-speed operation and hence called as turbo generators. The machines are built in a number of ratings from 10 MVA to over 1500 MVA. Salient pole type rotor is a projecting type rotor. The poles are made of thick laminated steel sections pivoted together. The poles are also laminated to minimize the eddy current losses. The salient pole type of rotors are characterized by their large diameters and relatively short axial lengths. It is generally used for low and medium speed operation, mainly employed in engine-driven alternators. The mechanical energy to the alternator is given through the prime mover. Thus the rotor and hence the field magnets are rotated in the direction of prime mover. The field poles are magnetized by applying a voltage to the field coils through slip rings. The field windings are connected such that alternate north and south poles are produced. As the rotor rotates, the north and south poles of the magnetic flux is cut by the stationary armature, which induces an EMF in the armature windings. As the magnetic poles are alternately north and south poles, the EMF thus generated will be alternating in nature. Thank you for watching.
Subscribe our channel for future video notifications.